Hey Leo, welcome to your December 2019 Psychic Tarot reading with me, Stella Wild. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your general tarot reading for December 2019. Leo, how are you? I'm so glad that you are here. We're going to get right into your reading after a few quick announcements. The first one is that my my 2020 year ahead astrology book is still available over on Amazon as an ebook and as a print book. You can read all about the energies for next year for all the signs. Definitely check that out. The link is in the description. Your monthly horoscopes are all finished. They're on the website. The link is in the description for that. So check them out. And as always, these are general tarot readings. So if you would like a personal reading with me, check out my services. The link is in the description. Okay, Leo. So let's get into it. I'm going to be drawing from the regular tarot, my cosmic tarot, and another tarot deck that I just got. And we'll see what is up for you this month. These are general, so I see what the cards have to say, and then that's what the reading is about. So take what resonates for you and watch for your moon and your rising and your Venus if you don't feel your sun sign resonates. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay, I've already been shuffling quite a few times, so let's see. Most of the signs this month had like love situations going on, but Let's see what we have for you guys. Not all of them. All right, we're gonna pick from the top of this pile and then look at the cards in the middle. We have the world upside down. We have the Ace of Cups upright. We have the Chariot, the Knight of Cups upside down and the Four of Swords upside down. And the World card upside down and the Ace of Cups upright. Okay, very interesting energy going on here. So something that you thought was truly over is not over. And I think what you thought was truly over was your capacity to love, was your capacity to, and, and to want to be in love. So I think this is very interesting. There, there's an energy coming back around for you of triumphing in love. And this is beautiful. The chariot and the ace of cups. Now, again, this is general. This could even be that you find love while you're traveling. Okay. Um, but this, because of the chariot representing traveling, ace of cups, a love offer. But there's something that was not, um, well... You know, it's a general reading. It could really go either way. There was a cup that perhaps was extended at some point in the past and it wasn't reciprocated. It wasn't well received. But there's a second chance element here with this four of swords upside down that something has healed or you're looking to heal something in this particular um, relationship. This could be a, the same person coming back around again or you reconnecting with them. That is possible. Um, we don't really have a person here yet. We'll see what else, you know, Cosmic Tarot has to say. Um, but, but again, this could just be the idea that you're not willing to give up on love yet. You know, you may have had a rough road lately, but you're not ready to give up on love. And you don't have to, because look what's here. This is gorgeous energy. So let's see what the Cosmic Tarot has to say. All right, let's pull, pull from that deck. But that's what I'm feeling so far for me from this reading for you. So there is, there's a fresh initiative in love. There could be a new direction, a, new, a reconnection. But it, like I said, it could also be connected with travel. If you're already with somebody and the relationship has gotten a little stale, and you've contemplated ending it with this world card upside down. You've thought about ending it. All you may need to rekindle that spark is a trip away. Okay, so that's another possibility with this energy. All right, let's throw these down and see whoa, what we have. All right, here's our two piles. I'm going to take from the top of this. 
Okay, we have the Nine of Wands upside down, the Ace of Swords upside down, and the Ten of Cups. This is so interesting. And we have uh, the Three of Swords here. And we have the Two of Cups. This is, this is such an interesting reading, Leo. So interesting. All right. Well, very, very sexy reconnection is on the cards for you. So with this Ace of Swords upside down in the middle, the Nine of Wands upside down, and the Ten of Cups upside down, it's echoing what I just said about how there has been a disconnect, um, but you haven't wanted to cut it loose with this Ace of Swords upside down. Somebody did get hurt. Somebody's been hurt in this connection, and they could be um, hurt because there has been a lack of physical connection between the two of you if this speaks to those of you who are already in a connection that's grown stale like i said but the connection's not over yet that i'm not feeling i'm feeling there's going to be a rapprochement there's going to be a reconnection a rekindling a fire that's going to be burning baby with this two of cups here and the ace of cups and the chariot so so there was, there was this unwillingness to let something go with this 10 of cups upside down. There was happiness here at one time. Um, this reconnection could be coming in about a month from now. I'm filming this December 1st. So right around the start of January with these two aces here, actually three aces, right? Cause we have this also. So, you know, for timing purposes in about a month, there could be, could be a big reconnection on the cards for you. Um, there's something, there was something about this with the Nine of Wands upside down where um, I'm hearing that you were just tired almost of your own heartbreak. I don't, I mean, just, I don't know how that's going to make sense for somebody, but I mean, think about that. It's almost like you were tired of, okay, I, this is what I'm hearing. You were tired of having this situation be a heartbreak and so you are going to be the one to make the effort to do the thing to get the reconnection going it was like this pain has been there for a long time i think and again if you're not with somebody it's just the idea of this pain of being alone this pain of um even a past association that you didn't want to let go, but perhaps had to for some reason with this three of swords, maybe there was a third party going on. Um, but you know, you were tired of dealing with the heartbreak. So you, you did find a way to try to, you know, let it go and get rid of it, which is why finally now something fresh is coming in for you. But for others of you, it's the idea of this reconnecting with with a person that you still care very, very deeply about with this Three of Swords. This Three of Swords would not show up unless you really did care about the person and were wounded by the fact that this thing hadn't happened, that, the, that it grew stale, you grew apart, you couldn't see each other. Um, you know, with the world upside down, maybe they're on the other side of the world. You know, I mean, that's possible. I mean, and I mean that literally, they, you know, you could be in the UK and they could be in Japan, you know, like that type of thing. So very interesting. But what I like about the Ten of Cups showing up, even though it's upside down, is that you know, this is going to, this is a delayed happiness that will come to fruition this three of swords will be healed in this month's time and this sense of exhaustion that you have had at struggling with not wanting to let it go not wanting to lose hope you know will have a payoff will have a victory so and a very sexy victory is coming and like i said for some of you it's it's you're going to have a whole new love that's coming in and i mean we have the ace of cups so there's going to be an offer which goes to the two of cups, which goes to the physical connection. And it's, it's awesome. I mean, the chariot is, is a great card. You're moving in the right direction. This, whatever this is with this person is going to move fast. It's going to move after a period 
of where you've been stagnant. You've been dealing with a lot of stagnant, stale energy in your love life. Even if this is like you've been single for a long time and you're tired of being single, this four swords upside down, you're, you're just so over of your love life, never like getting offers, never changing. You know, Leo likes attention. Leo's like, you know, WTF with this BS, right? Like where, where are my like admirers, you know? And so it's going to be very nice that after a period where you have felt very much on your last nerve of being alone, that this excitement happens for you. And as I said, for some of you, it's on a trip in about a month's time and it is sexy. You could meet somebody while you're traveling. Watch Aries. Aries had some of that energy too. Meet somebody while you're traveling. Um, I think it was Aries. I've done so many readings, but... Um, you know, really, really nice energy. All right, let's dive into our last um, deck and see what we have for you. But there's a real sense to me of like a healing that's going to be going on this month and into early January for you guys. Healing your heart. Really healing your heart. Just because this is showing up like this doesn't mean this is going to happen this month. I feel like this has already happened. And you're going to be able to set it to rights. Because that Ten of Cups is beautiful. Even with this, uh, with this upside, even though it's upside down. And I think the Ace of Swords upside down too, not willing to, um, you know, cut off communication. And also communication, I feel, with yourself about what you really want to get out of a relationship. Because with the Nine of Wands upside down, some of you Leos have settled for relationships that have really just been too much hard work. There has not been enough joy in them. And that is what you would like. All right, let's uh, end sex. I mean, <laughs> end sex. Okay, yes. All right. Yes, you do. You want the love. All right, I said it. You want the love. You want the sexy love. All right. Let's see, Leo. Let's see what else we got. You want to be shaking that booty. Okay. Let's see. All right, let's throw these down and see what we have. And having someone admire your shaking booty also. You know, that's the thing with Leo. Like, they need, they need the person to pay them a lot of attention and admire them. So any of you involved with a Leo... Or somebody who has significant Leo, like they, they like, you know, they like the uh, attention. Okay, look at this. Tower, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. What do we got? The Lava is upside down now. And the Hierophant. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's check this out. Lava is upside down. And the Hierophant. Okay, this somebody is moving so damn fast that <laughs> that uh okay, you got to be really careful, Leo, that you don't scare the person away. This is hot energy, very fiery, very passionate energy. And it's this is a significant situation here. We have the we have a lot of major arcana cards. We got this chariot, we had the world upside down before. Now we have lovers tower. All right, and higher fans. So we got a lot of Major Arcana. This is not some fly-by-night flibberty gibbet, as I like to say, like bullshit person. This is important. Whoever this person is that you end up meeting, this connection, this love connection, it's really important. Really important, this connection. So important that, Leo, you're going to go a little overboard here. This Page of Wands and this Knight of Wands. The energy is going to move very fast. You're going to be a fast mover. Now, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. But the fact that the lovers and the towers upside down, it might be just too surprising and too much for the person to handle. They could be overwhelmed. But you very much want a commitment with this person. The Hierophant is showing up here. And I think if you 
let them know that too fast, it, it could possibly scare them away. Okay, this lover's upside down and the tower upside down. Now, I still think that this is good showing up because, again, this shows that this is a committed situation um, in terms of that it's a, well, I don't want to say committed situation. It's, it's an important situation. It's an important relationship because the lovers are showing up. And the tower, to me, is just the sense that it's like I'm hearing like blowing all the circuits. Like, you know, when something short circuits, there's so much passion. There's so much electricity and energy between the two of you. And with all this fire that we have here, you got, it's you. You have to be the one to control it, Leo, and not short circuit and blow the fuse. And, 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 and I don't want to say ruin it or ruin your chances, but... So much of life is about timing. And I think that this person is going to be as, as excited as you are about the, the, the situation, about the connection. They're going to be excited. I mean, this is all upright. This is very awesome. But I think they're going to be a little gun shy. They're going to be a little nervous because it is that intense. So it's really nothing to do with you, but, but you... You know, because they like you. I mean, this is here. I mean, of course they like you. You're Leo. Of course they like you. But but it's the idea that you have to manage the flow of the energy between the two of you. You're here. You're the Knight of Wands. You got it in your head. You're like all the way to the commitment. See, because you're facing toward the commitment. This person is looking back. This, I feel, is the person you're going to probably get involved with. They are looking back at their past and they're thinking, well, wait a minute. Can I trust this Leo? Can I trust what he or she is bringing to the table? Because I, I don't know. I've had like kind of intense connections, you know, before or things, you know, burn out too fast. Can I trust this? That's what I'm feeling from this energy. So you're the one who has to manage the pace of the relationship and the pace of the intensity of the relationship because they're a little nervous. But this is, I think this is still good overall. Um, and eventually, I really feel this is gonna be heading toward some sort of commitment. Maybe in May, you will, May of 2020, you'll be deepening the connection in some way, maybe, you know, moving in or seeing each other exclusively or uh, whatever. Right, but there will be a deepening. It's gonna move in that direction. So Leo, you should know that that will happen. So don't get ahead of yourself, okay? <laughs> okay, Don't get ahead of yourself. Enjoy it. Enjoy the sexy connection, the butterflies, the traveling that you're gonna do together. And if you meet this person on a trip, I mean, good for you, because that'll be fun. Because um, you'll be going back to see them. Okay. So this, you know, enjoy, really just enjoy this. Don't worry too much about because of the past of you being hurt. Don't be so worried about, oh, I got to lock this down like right away. Just keep the pace. Enjoy the sparkle of this gorgeous, gorgeous connection. And the same thing, if you're involved with somebody already and there is this rapprochement, there is this reconnection, there is this sexy reconnection that you have with them after a period where the relationship has been kind of ugh, right? Again, don't be like pushing them too hard Allow them the room to reflect on their experience and, you know, kind of ease back into that connection with you again. All right. So overall, I think that this is really, really positive. And I want to really emphasize the fact that this is in the past. This is in the past. And this beautiful new connection is going to heal this heartbreak. It's going to heal it gonna heal it.
Love it. Love it, Leo. Oh my gosh. So excited for you guys. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonated. What's going on with you. I hope you have a great month. And remember, this energy is carrying into the first week of January for you guys too. So there could be some sexy New Year's Eve shenanigans going on. All right, Leo, enjoy. I'll see you again soon. Stella Wild.